Good morning, kiddos. Today I will be showing you how to make a... A shot. It was originally intended to be paired with Patrick's shorts, but they're, it's like so cute on its own, honestly. I really love it. I believe I'm still gonna set, sell them as a set, but I will have them individually, the two patterns, by the way. So I will have Patrick's shorts and this shirt up on my website and Etsy today. You can get them cheaper on my website than you can on Etsy, but if you prefer to buy through Etsy, be my bet be my guest. Both of those patterns will be up today. Um, if you want to see Patrick shorts, that is my previous video. I'll link that in the card or something. They're a pair pretty much solely because of the color. I think the color of the shirt is pretty dead on for Patrick's little bare belly. So super easy pattern. You can definitely get this done in like a weekend, maybe less. It took me a little while just because I'm the kind of person who like rotates projects. I can't be working on the same thing for too long. I don't know. I'm trying to think if there's anything else to say. I don't really think there is, so let's just get right into the video. I did it again. I forgot to mention the materials you're gonna need. I used a six millimeter crochet hook. Wait for a cotton yarn. It's that Lily Sugar and Cream again, the same kind that I used for the shorts, but it was in the color, it's like Coral Rose, I think. I used almost this whole like big thing. You're gonna need a measuring tape because you're gonna need to take your measurements. You're also gonna need stitch markers, scissors, darning needle. I think that's it. Like I just mentioned, you're gonna need to take some measurements. So you only only need to take four measurements. First one is going to be the width of your shirt. So that's basically going to be the like widest part of your torso that the fit the shirt needs to fit around. For me that's my bust. It might be your belly um, but you're going to measure that all the way around whatever it is for you and uh, divide it by two. And that's going to be the width of your shirt. Then you're going to want to measure the shirt length. So just hold your measuring tape up to yourself, measure from the center of your shoulder at the top all the way down to wherever you want the shirt to land on your body. If you want it cropped, it'll be a little shorter. If you want it to be longer, make it longer. Totally up to you. The third you're gonna need is your armhole. I like to start in my armpit just because I can like throw my measuring tape over my arm, over the shoulder, and back down into the armpit and measure the size you want your armhole to be. If you want a little looser, add a few inches. If you want it to be more snug, mine was more snug. Totally up to you, whatever fit you prefer. The last measurement is your shoulder. So that's gonna be from edge of your shoulder to like the base of your neck. That's it, awesome. Later in the pattern, you will have to do a little bit of math, but I'm gonna try my very hardest to describe it. Simply, you need to figure out like how many stitches will it be in between your buttonholes. And uh, I've never been good at math. Sure. And I am even worse at trying to explain to other people how to do math. I'll do my very, very best, but we'll cross that bridge when we get there, baby. All right, let's get started. I just wanted to share this picture quickly as a little overview. So how we're going to form this shirt is we're going to make those two front panels which are totally identical to each other with the exception of the buttonholes being on one side and the buttons being sewn to the other side. And then we're going to form the back panel. Then we're going to sew the shoulders together to the back panel. And then we're going to make the sleeves and then we're going to make the collar. So it's really super, super easy. I just wanted to share that quick little overview. Okay, so this is the front, uh, it's either the left or right panel, I can't remember. Just popping in quickly to say there's literally no difference in the front panels between the left and right other than one side has buttonholes and the other side has the buttons sewn onto it. So. If you prefer your buttons to be on the left side, put them on the left side. If you prefer the buttonholes to be on the left side, put those on the left side. Super does not matter. Just decide that ahead of time. Like I said, they're literally the exact same thing except for the buttonholes. So, so I chained my garment length 
And then my first row is a row of double crochets. So I chained my garment length and then I double crocheted into the third chain from my hook and then double crocheted all the way down. Then I chained one and single crocheted all the way down, chain two and then double crochet all the way down. And then I just alternate single crochet and double crochet rows until I reach my shoulder measurement. And now that I've reached my shoulder measurement, you're gonna wanna end on a double crochet row. So now I have my shoulder measurement done. I'm gonna do a row of single crochets all the way down. So I'm single crocheting and I'm gonna stop single crocheting when I have three stitches left. And now there are three stitches left and I'm going to th single crochet three together. So now we're starting our buttonhole section of this front left panel. All I'm going to do for this first round or row is I'm going to chain one, turn, single crochet in the same stitch, and single crochet all the way down. That's our first row. So now we have to figure out how many stitches need to go in between our buttonholes and how wide our buttonholes should be. I've recommended one inch buttons and it's kind of hard to see here but my buttons are about the width of three single crochets so since this is quite stretchy and it has a good amount of give I'm going to make my buttonholes too wide so the first bit of math we need to do is we have to figure out how many stitches our buttons will take so I have four buttons and if each of them are two stitches wide, that is eight stitches. So I'm gonna count the total number of stitches I have. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four. Okay, so I have thirty-four stitches total. And if I subtract eight for my buttons, that leaves me with twenty-six. So I'm gonna have three gaps in between my stitches. So if I divide 26 by three, that equals 8.6. So we've taken our row, which has 36 stitches in it. We've subtracted the number of stitches that our buttons will take up. For me, that's eight. We're left with 24. I'm going to have one single crochet on each end just to kind of lock in those buttonholes, makes it feel more secure. So I'm gonna subtract two more, and that's gonna leave me with 24. So I will have 24 total stitches in between buttons. So I'm gonna divide that 24 by three, and that leaves me with eight. So now I'm gonna get started on this row. I know that I have eight stitches in between each button. So I have chained one and turned, and put that first single crochet into this row. Now to make a buttonhole, I'm going to chain two, one, two, I'm going to skip two stitches, and I'm going to single crochet in that third stitch. And I'm going to single crochet a total of eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So here is where I make another buttonhole. Going to chain two, one, two, skip two, and single crochet eight. So hopefully that made sense. We have our buttonholes one, two, three, four. And they're all perfectly spaced out, which feels really nice. So now for our third row, we're gonna single crochet in each stitch and we're single, gonna single crochet two in each chain two space. One, two. So that's each one of those buttonholes gets two stitches in it. 
and then we just continue doing that across. So now for that final row, we're going to chain one, turn, single crochet into that same stitch, and single crochet all the way down. And then we're going to tie off at that point. And this is the end of that front left panel. And you made some buttonholes. On the other panel, you will need some space to sew your buttons onto. So when you reach the end of the other panel, you're just going to do four rows of single crochet. I recorded none of the making of the back panel, but that's okay because it's super easy. It's just, again, you're going to chain the same amount um, you did for your starting your front panels. So you're going to chain your shirt length, and then you're going to alternate rows of double crochets and single crochets until you've reached your shirt width. It's just a big rectangle. Super easy. Okay, now you have all of your panels made, all nice and beautiful. You should have two of these front panels with the decreases. And then your back panel, which is just a big triangle. We are going to sew the shoulders onto the back panel right here at the top on each side. I'll do that and then I will ah, I'll do that and then I'll be back with the next step <laughs> so I have sewn my shoulders together and now I'm going to start uh, the sleeves so what I'm gonna do is we took our armhole measurement I'm gonna measure from here down to wherever my armhole measurement lands and I'm going to mark it with a stitch marker um, and then for the sake of accuracy I recommend like counting the stitches from the top to the stitch marker and repeating it on this side just putting it in that stitch okay so I'm going to go do that and then I will show you what to do next okay so here we are we have our shoulders all sewn and secured and on each side we've marked our like armhole measurement and what I'm gonna do is starting at the bottom or actually I think I'm gonna start a few stitches up from the bottom just so there's a bit of a split there I think that'll look nice um, but you can start at the bottom wherever you decide to start you're gonna work your way up slip stitching into each stitch until you reach the stitch marker so I will do that right now I'm gonna go about five stitches from the bottom now I have reached my stitch marker I'm gonna remove my stitch marker and I'm gonna slip stitch those stitches together that were previously marked then I'm going to I'm gonna chain one, chain two, and double crochet into the next stitch. Now I am not stitching these panels together. Now I'm gonna start working in the round. I'm gonna double crochet all the way around. Once I reach the end of this round, I'm going to slip stitch to this chain two, and then I'm going to chain one and single crochet all the way around. And you're going to repeat those two stitches again, rows of double crochet, rows of single crochet, all the way around as many times as you want until you've reached the desired length of your sleeve. I'm probably going to go for shorter sleeves this time, so I'm probably only going to do about six rows. Okay, I'm back. I've turned it right side out so you can see, but I have my little sleeves. It like totally looks like a shirt now, which is so fun. Um, and now I'm going to show you how to add a collar. So basically, this is so easy. I'm going to turn this inside out. 
basically I've marked these stitches right here this is the row before we start like either our buttonholes or the the like button panel so obviously we'll start on this side at this marked stitch but we're gonna just attach our yarn here double crochet all the way around and then single crochet in the next direction you know chain one turn our work single crochet all the way back and repeat that as many times as you want for the desired collar length so I will zoom you in here give you a more detailed look so in this again we've marked the row that is just before this panel of single crochets that we are going to sew our button on. Same for this side. This is the side with the buttonholes. Just the row before this buttonhole section starts. So we're going to attach our yarn. And I actually think I'm going to go around in single crochets for this first row. Let me put two single crochets in the sides of double crochets and one single crochet per single crochet. Now we've reached this seam. We're just going to continue along. You don't have to do anything special. Okay, so we've single crocheted all the way around. We've reached our stick mark stitch marker. Now, just as usual, we're going to chain two, turn, then double crochet all the way back across. And I'm gonna go ahead and recommend you do at least five rows for this so that it's long enough to like fold over the way it's supposed to um but yeah it's pretty straightforward no other special instructions so i will see you back when i'm ready to sew my buttons on now you have your collar all done i only made mine pretty little uh i was running out of yarn <laughs> so uh, and the last thing to do is you're going to line up these panels and use your buttonholes that you already made as a guide for where you're going to sew on your buttons. It's really easy. You can line them all up and then mark the spot with the stitch marker if that's easier for you and then sew the buttons on. Um, I think that's what I'm going to do. So I'm going to do that. <laughs> How was that? Super easy, right? Yeah, and I think it's so cute. I just, uh, it's cuter than I thought it was gonna be. I, all these patterns, I just kind of make them up as I go along, so I really don't know what they're gonna look like until, <laughs> until I've tried them on. So, um, I was like pleasantly surprised by this one. Yeah, I hope you liked it. Please like and subscribe, it really helps me out. Both of those patterns will be available on my website and on my Etsy. If you want to save a couple dollars, you can check them out on my website. If you prefer Etsy, go for it. Yeah, you can follow me on Instagram. I post stuff sometimes. Other than that, I don't think there's really anything else to say. Go check out my Ugh, why am I fidgeting like this? I'm playing with my... God, I hope I wasn't doing that the whole time. Go check out my Patrick Shorts video that I did last week. Um, I love those shorts. They're very cute. They're really comfy. I've worn them a few times in between that video and this one. I think that just about does it. I'll see you next week. I'll see you next week. <laughs> Later. I also just wanted to add really quickly now that I'm conscious, um, it was a goal of mine to upload every week in April and I did it. 
Um, go me. I'm super proud of myself. Um, especially because I made a pattern every week in April as well. Um, so that's super awesome. There's always somebody walking around here, but I hope that I can become even more consistent and God damn it. walking around again. Okay, but anyway, hopefully I can become even more consistent and efficient and uh, do more cool stuff here on YouTube, um, grow more because my husband and I are looking to move. Uh, it might happen really really soon so i'm very excited for that yeah if you want to uh support me because <laughs> i'm gonna have a mortgage to pay <laughs> you can check me out on etsy or my website or you can just like subscribe follow me on instagram it all helps a lot so thanks for being here i hope i can upload every week next month too uh yeah anyway later